All right, we are here at the top of the mountain to film motocross, and it is going to be so much fun. This is kind of a different environment. A lot of times you see motocross chasing it's kind of in an open field with a lot of big jumps, but today we're at an avocado grove. So basically, there's just like 50 acres here, and we're all surrounded by avocado trees and everything, all a bunch of really cool vegetation and plants and all the nature stuff. I'm from Florida. It's flat there. We don't have hills and mountains like this. It's crazy. Wait till you guys see it. I can't wait. One thing I kind of think might be important to think about when you're chasing chasing anything really in an environment like this where there's a lot of hills is your camera angle. So last time I chased here, I used 25 degrees of camera angle and it was really difficult for me to chase them because when they're going downhill, you know, 25 degrees pointing up, pointing down, it's now like, it's like 50 degrees and you're just going way past them. So today I'm trying out 15 degrees of camera angle and it's been a little bit better. Honestly, I just got my first pack in and the footage looks great. I cannot wait to keep ripping it. All my shots are awesome. Yeah. But they're not like touching the tire with the lens of the camera like Bubby. So it's like, I'm not like jumping up and oh, like, hey, look at my clip. What do you mean? When you, when you say touching the tire, you mean like really close? Really close. Okay. Yeah, that was a joke. Gotcha. I didn't mean the time you actually hit somebody. I didn't, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hit the tire. Oh, I'm down. Oh. Dang. Dang. I don't know where I am, but I'm sick. I feel like I was chucked in the air for like a solid 10 seconds, and then I hit. They found me a helmet and they found me a bike. I asked for something like really my speed, something with like a lot of power. <laughs> the bike is so small for him too. It's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he's going up! Oh! <laughs> Good job, girl. All right, so I'm about to fly my Shendrone Sicario. This is a Cinelift quad, so it's spinning. Oh my god, it's so heavy. X8 basically gives us more power because with a drone like this, we're gonna be carrying a cinema camera. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm just carrying my vlog camera. This is a Canon M50. With an X8, you still have four points of thrust, just like a quadcopter, but you double up the motors at each yeah. point. You get an increase in power without the increase in size that typically comes with other octocopter yeah. configurations. And you get more redundancy. You could chop off a couple of props and, still and it was still able to fly. I don't yeah. recommend it. Yeah. But 
when you're carrying a heavy and expensive payload, it's really nice. What you'll typically see on here is like a red Komodo seems to be the popular camera that people are putting on these drones. But you didn't have enough allowance money for a red Komodo? Yeah. So the Canon M50 money. is going to have to do it. Yeah. And I noticed you, you taped the lens right where you want it. So is this, you got your aperture and your focal length and all that just fixed? Yeah, I have that fixed and there's electrical tape on there because Alex told me a good tip is sometimes in flight, just all vibrations can change these. Right. So electrical tape just keeps it there. Nice. Yeah. Are you worried at all about putting such a big expensive rig up behind dirt bikers kicking up dirt and you know getting... not really I mean today's kind of like the perfect day is like you know I mean I don't get to chase yeah, many right. cool stuff so this is a perfect opportunity to take it out and try to get some cool footage with it can't wait to see what you do man show us what you got yes sir Oh my gosh, we're holding the drip's hand. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Pretty sure like I, saw I saw you go down this way. I couldn't this. see. It could be over here. It could be over here. It could it be up there. It felt like it got unplugged in the air. Like it was just complete locked out freezing. I didn't even hear the, the motor spin. Yeah. What? No way you just found it. Yeah. Holy crap. Bro, it was okay, it watch awesome. out, everybody. And it's still plugged in. But Tyler, didn't you also find the drone in the lake? When we, wasn't Holy that crap. you that spotted it? No, that no. was you. Old eagle eyes. How'd you even see that, dude? That's Purple exactly props. It was like, to, yeah. Yeah, apparently. Good job. You got a celebratory Coke? It's a celebratory Coke. Can I have a sip, Bubby? No. Well, oh, come on. You want to share a little Coke with me? Share a it's Coke. Like it says campaign. it right on there. <laughs> you're going to drink that whole thing. <laughs> you're going to drink that whole thing. Fine, Bubby, you know what? If you're going to drink that whole thing. You, got, you better drink it right now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Drink it, Bubby. <laughs> Drink it! Hit that subscribe and the bell a Yan Bell. Click it. Ring it. Smash it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're